As long as I can remember, I've wanted to sing. But it turned out not everybody loved the sound of my voice as much as my mum did. And I got teased and bullied. It was a seemingly endless drama full of singing and violence. <laughs> kind of like an opera. Ah. Pleasure to meet you. It's just an incredible story. It's almost made up, you'd think, but it's like a fairy tale. Ah, I guess so, yeah. I mean, that's, that's I think, why, you know, some some far richer and braver people than you and I decided that it should be a film. You know, it's essentially a sports movie, really. That's kind of what, the, you know, the beats that it, that it follows are, are very similar to lots of those movies that, that we've seen. You know, it just so happens that that sport is, is opera. It's definitely not a film about Britain's Got Talent. It's a film about a boy from an industrial steel town who dreams of being an opera singer and just refuses to give up. I can hardly believe it, but I'm actually in Venice. Do you miss me? Terribly. You need to steal the heart of the audience. So you lack too much the confidence. For me, you are not yet an opera singer, and maybe never. It must be incredibly difficult to want to do something so much and not meet anybody who goes, yeah, of course you can, you should go and do that. And that's why when he meets Jules, it's such a massive thing. She's the first person that says, no, I, I absolutely believe in you. And that's what gives him the, the strength to do it, really. You gotta see this. You know what you were put on this earth to do. You have an actual talent for singing. Because I'm playing him up to the point that you and I ever knew him, I think that made it a lot easier for me. His voice, you know, is different to mine. He lives in Port Albert, but he's from Bristol, so he has a very sort of soft lilt to his voice, which I try to sort of listen to as much as I can. Look at him blushing now. Would you just eat him up? You'd need a couple of sittings. I just hope that they feel a bit lighter and a bit more positive. That's all you can hope, really. I hope they just think, yeah, actually, if you, if you don't give up, you can't fail, you know? You can be very proud of yourself. So you've shattered your collarbone, broken four ribs and dislocated your pelvis. You have got to stop doing this to me.